Welcome, Felix here. I'll be showing you guys how to install a Minecraft Forge server on Linux. So, I'm personally using Linux Mint, but this guide should still work with most Debian based distros. Okay, so the process should be relatively the same. Right? So, the first thing you want to do is obviously download Forge. Uh, I'll just use the recommended version. I'll get the installer here. All right. Obviously, we're going to wait. Come on. All right. Skip that. It'll down that for us. Pull that out and put that on the desktop. Okay. So now with that, we've got the installer uh, downloaded. I'll create a new folder. Uh, let's just call it uh, Forge Server or whatever the fuck you want it to be called. So I'll drag that in here and then we'll just open this in terminal. And what we're going to do is, um, actually, before we actually do that, um, we need to double check our Java version. So we're just going to do Java version. Uh, Jaja. Okay. And I'm using 18.0.1.1. That's the one yeah, you want to, um, this is the latest version so far. And that's the one that you do want to use. I'm not sure if 17 will work with this. Uh, but I know that 18 does work. And I'll show you how to do that. So basically all you have to do is obviously just do a go at update. Then my password. Right. And then all you gotta do is sudo apt install y. Six. Sorry. <laughs> six. Two. Three. Six. I. Six. Alright. And the next command that you want to do is this. I'm just going to paste it here. So it's a wget command. Um, and that's the I'll I'll uh, I'll put all this in the uh, description, all the uh, commands that you'd have to do to get the latest version of uh, Java. All right, we'll let that do its thing, and then we're going to install that. The dpeg that command I should say I already have it installed or whatever yeah whatever. Uh, now it should work so version you want to type Java dash version just to check to see if it's installed and if this and if it's not popping up just yet you do want to put in just in case this extra command here i'll put it i'll i'll put it down in the description that should be fine okay so those are all the commands i'll put it in the description okay so now we can close that and we'll open our terminal here and what we're going to do is we're going to run this through uh, the command line here. So we're going to do Java dash jar, and then you can just press tab and it'll automatically select the uh, jar that's in there. And then you do dash install capital S E R V R. And that'll install the server on here. It's going to take a minute.
Now that that's installed, we can close that. You can delete this or move it somewhere else. Doesn't really matter. You can leave it there if you want. So now we just want to double check. Okay, so dot .bat, that's useless to us because we can't run this. Uh, but dot .sh, we want to open that in a little notepad here. I use notepad QQ or you can use anything else that you can edit text files. Uh, so what we want to do is put no GUI or no GUI uh, all after this but before this, all right? So you just got to put it right here. And we're going to save that. Okay. And then next thing we want to do is open this up. And this is where we're going to specify how much RAM we're going to use. So, oop. So, XMX4G, that's for 4 gigs of RAM. You can change this to however you many you want, how much you have, or whatever uh, available to spare. Um, I'll just do 8 because it's going to be a modded server and it's going to need a little bit more RAM than uh, 4. You could also do. XMS, like say 1G or uh, 12, and that's like the minimum amount of RAM that it should use. But you don't have to specify that. I don't. I don't even bother with that. So I'll just save it like that. Close that, and now we run this. Double click, run in terminal. And then it should create all these files for now. Uh, then we next thing we got to do is edit the EULA. Come on, there we go. And then we have to set this to root. Okay. So we're going to save that, close that, and then run it again. Run in terminal. A little bigger so you can see what's going on here and it's going to generate those files for us it's going to generate a world folder and it's going to try to run it what you can do is to create a mods folder before you run this and put your mods in there if you really want but i just like to run it first just to see if it's actually going to work without mods just to double check and make sure So it looks like it's working, and here we go. Server's up. So we can stop this for now. And obviously you want a forge server because you want to throw in mods in there. Just wait that for that to close. And then throw all the mods in there in the mods folder. And I already have one set up here. Uh, I'll close that up. And then I'll just run what I have here. Oh gosh, where's my... Okay, there it is. Um, but yes, always make sure to select run in terminal and not just run. And when you edit the, uh, yeah, the run.sh, make sure to run it with a, without a GUI. Because sometimes if you're using a different version of Java or something like that, Sometimes the GUI doesn't want to open up and then you're having like you're 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 having issues and it keeps crashing and then you don't know why. That was my issue and I had to make sure to update my Java to the 18. And that seems to work, but also don't forget to put in the no GUI cuz you'll want to have access to the console itself anyways. Um but yeah. That's how you install and run a Forge server on Linux. Obviously, you want to have that set up on like, uh, you know, on a Ubuntu server, um, and not right on your operating system like this. It's not optimal, but this is the way to do it. Because and I and I figured to have a to ha provide a tutorial like this because. This is mostly just for testing because I'm trying to build like a 
you know, a, a mod pack and whatnot, and I just want to quickly test things. But also, just in case, like, if you do need to run a server without having to run a, a server machine, you only have the one machine, you can do this uh, right on your, your Linux uh, OS distro or whatever. All right, well, thank you very much. And uh, hopefully this uh, guide helped you out. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.